You can see him in God's Not Dead, A Light in Darkness. And now, Mike C. Manning joins us in the studio. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hi, After Buzzers. Welcome back to Mini Spotlight. I'm your host, Amy Cassandra Martinez, and I am joined by the wonderful Mike C. Manning. Yay! Woo! The crowd goes yeah. wild. Introduce that like a football player. I don't right? know where that I mean, I, I don't mind it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Woo. 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 Okay, so let's get started and talk about God's Not Dead and your role in that, how that came to be, all of that. Inquiring minds want inquiring to know. Inquiring minds yes. want to know for those <laughs> yeah. inquiring minds. Yes. Um, yeah, so God's Not Dead, Light and Darkness uh, is in theaters right now, and, um, and I play uh, a character named Adam, and Adam... This role was really exciting for me because Adam, as an actor, um, Adam is a completely different character in the end of the film than he is in the beginning of the film. So he definitely goes through a really dramatic transformation, which was a challenge, but it was also really exciting. Um, and his actions are sort of what sets the plot into motion. Oh. Um, so he has a really important role, which, which, is, which is great. Um, also, acting with uh, Samantha Boscarino, she played my girlfriend in the film, uh, it was fantastic because every single day, it was, after the first day on set, I was like, oh, okay, I have to, I have to bring it every day because she, she's just so good and she makes it look so easy. Um, so it was, you know, it's always great when you work with people that you, that you like and that bring out the best in you, and I think that uh, she really did that. Can you share any, like, funny behind-the-scenes moments? Uh... Well, I mean, everybody was so laid back, but so professional at the same time, mm -hmm. and uh, and sometimes we would we would be doing a very serious scene. So in the in the film, uh, I have scenes in jail, and it's in the trailer, so I'm not ruining anything. Uh, scenes in jail, or scenes, you know, really emotional scenes. But sometimes somebody would say something or do something, and and we just start laughing, mm -hmm. and we couldn't stop laughing. Uh -huh. And I'm like, everybody, stop! Like, stop! I have to. You don't have to cry here. You know, stop. And uh, we would just have to just get it out of our systems and. But I think that happens, I mean, it probably happens here yeah. with you no, all the time. We're Never always serious very, here. Very, serious. very serious. <laughs> very serious. I, well, does that mean that we get to see a blooper reel of that, maybe? Probably on the DVDs, I'm sure. Bonus features? Yeah. There yeah. you go. Probably some bonus. Coming soon after, obviously, right now it's in theaters, so Coming you can see it soon. right now. Yeah. Right now Coming in theaters, <laughs> and then bloopers soon. Yes. Yeah. Those are so much fun to watch. Yeah. Bloopers are sometimes my favorite part. Well, I mean, movies are, like... Good movies are good movies, good, but yes. um, Chris yeah. Pratt, if you go online, Chris Pratt has some great bloopers from Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are my favorite. What? You know, th there's a part in Guardians of the Galaxy where he has like the orb or whatever, yeah. and uh, in the actual script, it's not written that he drops it. And he, or that, like the stone or whatever it is, and so like in the movie he drops it and goes, oh, oh, and he picks, and it's in the film, but that actually wasn't written in the, in the, in the script. See, I love yeah. those moments where, where directors realize, no, that actually is gold. Let's yeah. keep it. Let's keep it. Yeah, drop it again. <laughs> Ten more times. <laughs> now, you are also in, um, well, Ice, the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, Lost in America is another yes. wonderful thing that you worked on. Yeah. Can you describe a little bit more about both of those? Yeah, so Ice, the movie was really exciting. I uh, shot it last year in Colorado, which is my home state. Ah. And, uh, and it's, it's a really great movie. It's a movie about uh, two sisters that are, are professional figure skaters. And from a very young age, they're very talented, and they um, link up with a coach that is essentially training them for the Olympics. Ooh. And they become best friends, they become sisters, uh, but as they get older and as the Olympics become an actual possibility, competition gets in the way and tests their relationship. And, um, and, and, and it, for me, it was great because I used to play hockey when I was younger. And which is part of the reason why I got hired for the role, because uh, I can ice skate. Um, but for me, I never, I had never seen what behind the scenes of figure skating was like. Oh. And after that, I have so much respect for anybody that does it. Uh, it was such a challenge. And these, the the two lead actors were. We had we had some scenes where we were playing hockey uh, outside, which was a lot of fun. Uh, but they would be in like skirts and like tiny little like like leggings, and I was in a coat and I was freezing, <laughs> and uh, and 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 they would just say, you know, I'm gonna we need to get this take. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and and I just have so much respect for for them and for that sport. And plus, um, you know, I, I went and visited my family. We shot around Christmas and the holidays, Aww. and 
So that was really cool. It was a really great experience. Um, it's on Amazon uh, right this month. Uh, it'll be on Amazon, and um, and it's just it's a really great movie. It's a really cool family film, right? That's uh, the best. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, and I'm the love interest, so uh, so I have some funny moments in there if I do say so myself. And that's yeah, good. yeah. Maybe there'll be a blooper reel for that one too. Oh my god. Oh, so uh, yes. first day on set. So I got. They asked me if I could ice skate, and I said, Yeah, you know. And what it had really been seven or eight years since I actually played hockey. But I was like, you know what, you know, like a bicycle, I'm going to pick it up again. So, so I said, yeah, sure. And uh, we had a rehearsal, an on-camera rehearsal in Los Angeles before we all flew to Colorado. And so the director's there, the other actors are there, we have some stunt doubles there, like hockey players and stuff, because they're, they're matching us with a stunt double, because I had to do some oh. tricks on this thing that okay. I can't really do. So ice hockey skates, which I've come to find, ice hockey skates are different than figure skates. Ice hockey skates are like a crescent moon kind of thing, and yeah. you, and to, to skate you lean forward and you push off and you're 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 sort of pushing off to the side and to the back. Figure skates they're made to just sort of glide along and you're upright and you're this and you're that, and they have little teeth on the front and the back. What to stop? Because because you need to uh. pick the ice and you need to stop very quickly. You need to do your turns. I had never skated on figure skates before. So my first day on, my first day uh, meeting the director, meeting these other actors, I go there and, uh, and, and I was like, and they're like, Mike, okay, we're just going to do a camera test. You just need to skate from here to here. It's 15 feet and we're on an ice rink. I'm like, sure, oh no problem. God. Got it. 15 feet. And they're like, okay, whenever you're ready. And I'm like, all right, cool. Got this, got this. <sighs> Fell right on my face. First take, fell right on my face, and everybody goes. And it was one of those things where like there's commotion happening in this, and I like fell, like splat, and everybody goes, and like everybody's oh, quiet, no. waiting to see if I like got up and uh, got up, and I and they and then they actually put me in hockey skates, and then I because they okay. didn't weren't getting my feet anyway, oh, and it was okay. much easier. But I remember Gosh. laying there thinking like, okay, it, it can't get any worse because <laughs> I already fell on my face in front of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So the blooper reel for that would be. And now, and, and you shared that story with us. So yeah, I feel like we're in the loop it's now. Exclusive. Yeah. There you go. And then uh, Lost in America. What is that about? What so Lost in America has been a passion project of mine for uh, the last three and a half years. Um, I'm working with direct director Rotimi Rainwater for that. And what's great about working with him is um, that it's a documentary film, feature documentary about homeless youth. What it's like to be a homeless youth in America why there are so many homeless youth uh, youths in America and what some people are doing to help that you know help them mm -hmm. and, and change it so uh, Rotimi he's in his 40s now he is, he's a you know he's a dad with a family but when he was 19 he himself was homeless wow. so um, so sort of watching him go and relive his journey while connecting with these youth uh, and, and hearing their stories was just so heartbreaking but so powerful um, it's really exciting because in the film we have um, we have Jewel, who has you know Grammy nominated, uh, gr Grammy winning singer, um, is an executive producer on the film. She was also homeless at one point, and in the oh film we have God. a story about her t talking about how she's like washing her hair in the restaurant of a like in the bathroom of a restaurant, um, and it's so powerful. And then we have Rosario Dawson talking about what she does uh, to help these youth, and we have um, we have Halle Berry talking about the importance of helping these youth and John Bon Jovi and, and you know just it's just great people coming together and and really shining a light on this issue that I don't think has has it hasn't gotten enough attention and agree, yeah. Obama promised to end, end this problem in 10 years back when he was president and it's actually worse than when he made that promise now um, but there are so many things where we discovered is there are so many uh, influences that go into why kids are homeless and and we try to you know show that in the film well and I like that you are bringing attention to it where can people see the film uh, the film will be premiering at Nashville uh, next month in May oh, cool. um, premiering in Nashville and then we're gonna do the festival circuit for a little bit and then uh, hopefully it'll be out in theaters later on this year yeah that's great I, I'm glad that you guys are touching on such important subjects um, Last little thing, yeah. I love asking people this question because the answers that I get are the best. Um, oh, oh if, no pressure. They're no the best pressure. answers, but no best pressure. Best answers. If you could send a message to yourself for like 10 years from now, like a little time capsule message, 
what would it be? So this is going to me in 10, ten years? 10 years. Like, where do you hope to see yourself in 10 years? And like, um, hey, Mike, it's me. Yeah, yay, hey, Mike. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope you learned how to dress better. What uh, are you no, talking? no, no. Uh, no, I really, right now, um, I work with my producing partner, Vinny Chibber. We have a production company called Chibberman Productions, and we're really dedicated to creating films like Lost in America that really, um, scripted and unscripted, that really raise awareness about certain social issues. And that's really where my heart is right now. And so I wish in 10 years, uh, Mike, in 10 years, that you've done what you set out to do and that you make those films that matter and uh, that you help people. Aw, see? Yeah, was that, was that a good enough answer? Yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, we'll have to talk to Mike. Yeah, in 10, 10 years, years 10 years, Mike, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Wait, what's, what's 10 years Amy going to do? What? No yeah. one ever I, asked me that question. Reversal. <laughs> what? Yeah, all right. Uh, um, okay, well, Amy, I hope you're doing great. Uh, and I hope you're having fun and interviewing cool people like uh, Mike C. Manny. Oh, <laughs> see what she did there. Yes, yeah. yes. And see you later, Amy. Bye, Amy. Bye, Amy. <laughs> Bye, future Amy. Bye, Bye future, future Mike. I hope you're hanging out together. Sure. You know? Doing another interview yeah. like, like this with just, you know, other things to talk about. <laughs> um, so where can people find you on all social media? Follow, subscribe, all that. Yeah, it's all the same. Very easy. It's uh, Mike C. Manning on everything. That's, oh, Mike C. Manning. Yeah, that yeah, everybody. that's great. And yeah. I, I like, we were talking about this earlier, that it's nice to just have one uh, handle. Yeah, and you can just you can find them. Easily. It's mostly just for me because I don't want to like have to remember all these other things. <laughs> so it's just easy. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, and thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> thank all of you for watching. Uh, I'm your host, Amy Cassandra Martinez, and you can find me on all social media at Amy Cassandra MTZ. See you guys next time. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later! later.